what's going on everyone how's everyone doing today um a little something different here so i want to show you guys around uh my property here okay land goes back that way behind the house we got about four acres back in the woods down the hill on the other side of uh this island here is uh a little shed you know it's, it's something different just want to kind of show you what i do when i'm not washing when i'm not out plowing um just kind of the stuff that i do around the home and some of the changes so um right now i'm gonna you know start splicing in some photos and some different videos to kind of show how this is different so right now this video is being recorded um today is july 11th i believe july 10th or july 11th all of this is new as of april uh this year april 2021 so once uh once the snow melted i was uh just gung-ho getting ready to go there used to be a driveway here um there was never any trees any never any rocks uh all this yard back here um there was never any grass so we'll go take a look at that um let's see all of this all of this was uh all this was done in the evenings on the weekends with rental equipment um and so basically let me let me take a second and just show you guys what um what it used to look like here um this is where the driveway used to be i uh, just wasn't a huge fan of the driveway uh, being right in front of the house so what i did is you know took a skid steer with a bucket scooped up all the material moved it back and expanded this laneway where my truck is parked right to where the bulldozer is and then over to where uh, elizabeth subaru is um that was all extended out using the material that was once here uh used the bucket to go all the way down to the uh the fabric i'll rip the fabric out as much as possible then i had a, a buddy bring in a couple loads of sand topsoil planted grass hopefully by the end of the video this grass will be looking a little bit better the reason that these boards are here is because we're kind of at the top of a mountain here uh, we're not quite at the top so we get a tremendous amount of runoff coming down of water um it goes running through the yard which uh only in some of the really big storms It was never an issue uh, when we had existing grass here or the driveway, but now that we've changed everything, there's no, uh, nothing's really packed down. It's all fresh. Um, these areas here have been washing out during some pretty big rainstorms. Um, a factor to that was our culvert was all messed up. We had that replaced. Oh, I'm sorry, not our culvert, our swale here was all, uh, was all replaced here. And uh, the, the town was nice and put some topsoil here and grass along the road. Um, 
but I had these boards up to stop the water from going in. I actually had, have to add a little bit more. Then I'm going to replant topsoil, replant plant grass, and uh, this should be filling in some of these uh, hurt spots by the, the rain that we've been getting. All these rocks that you see here, they were all moved. They, they used to run the length of the property all the way over to here to where the uh, snowmobile trailer is on the other side of the ATVs. So um, wanted to get some of those out of there. Use the excavator, the mini X, to line them along the house here, along the front here. So what this does is just kind of gives a nice little boundary. Um, it's not a you know it's not a terribly busy street. Cars go by pretty fast. Um, thinking into the future, you know we just got puppies. We want to have a nice yard for them. Um, this gives a little bit of protection. Seg uh, segments off the yard. These trees are actually going to continue out to here, out to this rock. Um, these are Thuja evergreens. They are going to grow three to five feet a year, hopefully. Um, and they're going to grow up nice and tall, nice and wide. And they're really going to block off the property here. Um, these are, these were planted uh, evenly apart in between uh, where the rock formation is and at a staggered, um, at a staggered scheme. So they look really nice and filled in when they grow. And again, there's going to be more in through here. So there'll just be a little gap in between the trees as you're coming by. So that was kind of some of the products. This took a couple weekends to get all this taken care of. All the trees were uh, dug by hand um, or the holes were dug by hand and planted. Um, let's move back here a little bit. So we put uh, trees all on the house here, the same thing, Thuja evergreens. They are also gonna grow three to five feet. Um, we get a tremendous amount of sun back here, so it's gonna help shade the house. Um, this, is, this deck that we had put on was kind of just a quick deck. Um, two summers ago, or I guess a summer ago, we did it back in uh, August 1st for <laughs> my wife and I's wedding on, uh, I think it was August 22nd or something like that. Um, so it was kind of like a quick deck job, but it turned out really nice. Um, and these trees are going to give a little shade for that project as well. So all of those rocks were moved. Oh, I'm sorry. All the these rocks continued all the way across here. Those rocks were all moved to line the property. Those remaining rocks, as of now, are going to stay. Um, that fire pit. All those rocks were used for a fire pit, which used to be right here. Again, I'll be showing us some of those photos. And then I'll be splicing in kind of a photo of what the yard, a couple of pictures of what the yard used to look like. Um, but now we've been able to create, um, if you're standing here on the deck, and been able to create a little bit more of a, a yard um, versus like the old deck and the old yard. This is what we have now, um, and of course this, or not of course, but again, this was all done in May of this year, so just a few months ago. Um, again, it's uh, this was all done in, uh, I'm sorry, April uh, 2021, and is now July 2021, so we've done a lot of projects so far this year. Now that you're kind of caught up, the reason I didn't record any of that because I was all done with renting equipment. It was all done in my free time. Um, I got skid steers and excavators and all kinds of stuff dropped off here. I operated all of them. Um, but you're on the clock. You know, the guy's dropping it off. The guy's coming back to get it in a certain amount of time. I didn't want to be um, recording and, and, and messing around with that stuff, wasting precious time. Uh, a lot and a lot was done. Now that we're all caught up, um, I'm going to start recording a little bit moving forward because a lot of the big stuff is done so far. This is not a rented piece of equipment. Uh, this is a nice dresser dozer. We're going to be operating that today. Um, this is my father's dozer. It's going to be here as long as I need it. I've actually not operated this yet. The only operation that I have done on this dozer to date is moving it from there to here. So all of this today is going to be um, a learning experience. Uh, we'll see how it goes. I'm not expecting anything much. I'm just going to be messing around. Um, trying to fill in this hole over here, which we will examine in a minute, and I'll explain what we're doing with the dozer and the dirt. Um, I'm just going to be, you know, trying to get comfortable with the dozer, move a little dirt around, um, and then if it gets to a little too technical or, you know, something needs to be done a little bit different, then I'll have my father come do it. But I'm just, uh, it's Sunday, we're going to mess around a little bit with the, the machines here, and we'll see what we can get done. 
So all this was changed, all this was graded. Um, I graded all of this off, this whole slope. Again, I'll show you the old pictures. Um, there used to be vegetation here, there used to be berms, there used to be a lot of erosion control. Uh, we removed all that, and since then we have had a lot of rain. And, I mean, a lot, a lot of rain. Where that cone is, I put in a drain to try to help. that drain or that area is a low spot and that drain was buried and it came out to here over time what happens is right where this line is here it's hard to tell on camera probably but that cone is a low spot and it bowls here and then it gets high where this line is and then it crests down so what was happening is we we're getting too much rain it was overflowing the uh the drainage pipe which probably hindsight is 2020 probably should have been bigger um bigger diameter but uh it fills up and pools in this area it breaches this crest and then it all runs down here so what we are going to do is try to get as much dirt as we can in this hole and pack it in do a little bit of time pack it, a little bit in pack it and then the remaining dirt with the dozers, we're gonna to try to fill and raise this area. We're gonna to try to change the elevation so where it drops off here, we're gonna to try to raise this up. So when the water pools, it actually sheds this way on the property instead of going this way. We're gonna see how much uh, work we can get done with this dirt here. And then the remaining, we might have to get another load brought in. This is uh, close to 36 yards. Um, it's basically two uh, tandem trucks. If I need to get a third and a fourth in here, the goal of that will be to push some dirt this way and try to match the elevation, try to get everything a little higher along the trees to run this way along the property. So again, it's my first time operating the bulldozer. I'm gonna start with some simple stuff, play around with the machine, get comfortable with it, try to get the dirt in the hole and not the bulldozer. And, uh, you know, just kind of go from there. Um, once this dirt goes down and I get a decent grade, I'm going to immediately plant grass on it, plant some seed on it, and see if we can get some uh, some traction. Once you get some root in there and the trees take root here, um, all this was all disturbed, right? And it's all starting to grow back in. That's, you know, you don't have the runoff here. Um, so we're going to start to try to shift the water back to some of this more, you know, controlled environment. You get all these roots in the dirt, it's less likely to run and break away. Um, this was just all changed and rapidly, uh, you know, ra you know, we created the problem and we just didn't have enough time to like get vegetation and growing back in before we got some really serious rain and water takes the path of least resistance. Once it starts washing out, it really washes out. We, uh, the first time, and I believe I had pictures again, I can throw those in here. The first time it washed out, we got an inch of rain in a half hour. It was absolutely torrential downpours. Uh, the front was washing out. I was out here soaking wet in a thunderstorm, trying to just like keep the water from running. Um, this isn't happening in normal rainstorms. This isn't happening, you know, every day when it rains. We have had some serious dumps of water. Um, and that is what's caused this. So on normal rain days, the yard doesn't flood, but we've had some serious, serious storms this year. Um, and then this is the result. So. Let's just see what's going on here. So that was my first time pushing. Not too bad, right? I don't know. <laughs> I didn't fall in the hole. I got kind of close, so it was kind of scary. You know, 
not used to the machine and then the first job is like right here on the edge so what i want to do here is fill this in a little bit and just go in there and stomp it you know the ideal thing would have would be to like have a tamper and probably the ideal thing would be to put like some rip wrap down in here um but we're gonna be working with what we got um and we'll just we'll just see if we can uh we'll see if we can see the problem is and so this house was built 20 years ago we've only lived here for two years but this property was all filled in this was all fill pretty dirty fill you can see a lot of rocks and they basically changed the elevation of the property to flatten it out so they could build a home um this is like all junk that was just down here from like old construction and again probably just dirty fill old foundation pouring from when they're building the foreign foundation here um and then you have this slope so everything was kind of settled and there was no washing out so once we get this kind of filled in out pretty sweaty but uh so far moved a little bit of dirt um and this is where there used to be you know obviously there used to be a tree here um it has been removed by mother nature this is all kind of filled in now now this is not perfect obviously right there's uh there's going to be some more steps in place um as we go but for right now this is going to get filled in it's raised up now we're going to start trying to move some of this dirt and fill in through here and try to match that grade over there where that line was that I showed you earlier. That's kind of where it crests down. So we're gonna try to get some of this material in here. Um, that's step two, that's priority number two. And then with whatever left, we're gonna try to move that way, try to fill in this low spot here, try to get everything graded uh, to the best of my ability, running this way and away from this section. Now, once this is kind of taken care of, because there's no point and i could take the rest of this whatever's left uh, a little over 18 yards probably 25 yards here i could take this and i could push it all down in here and i could keep doing what i'm doing and it'll slowly fill in this whole area but then if i don't fix this crest area 
this this where it crests and falls down and we get another rainstorm then all this dirt that's in here is just in harm's way of going down the hill so this is filled in i'm going to change i'm going to make this higher so the water can't run protect this little work that we've done and uh um over time as things settle again i'm going to plant grass on this today even if it's just temporary i'm going to plant grass on it try to get some seed to grow uh pretty quickly and uh some roots here and then over time if we have to disturb that add more dirt we can um same thing if i get this all leveled out the way i wanted and raked today we'll see how much uh energy i have how much i can get done i'm probably gonna throw some grass seed down on it and just see if we can get some roots started and uh if that has to be driven on by a dump truck to drop some more material later on that's <clears throat> that's fine but today the priority is to just kind of mend this a little bit and get this high and then we can worry about some other stuff uh down the road this is was not planned obviously there's uh, a lot of other as you can see projects going on some planning for some stuff down there so this is just kind of like an interim quick little let's fix this most of this i mean again this looks bad a lot of this has been here for 20 years this right here this little slope is new this this little jut out here and you can just kind of see how bad i mean we really had water flowing if i have some of those videos i'll splice those in as well but we did the, the, there was so much water it was really unnerving <laughs> especially like a lot of this is new work so sitting at the door watching the tree slowly creep over the hillside it was uh devastating but um all these trees are new the ones in the front the ones on the side i think there's like 40 trees that we planted this year so you know you go out and spend money and then of course i dug every hole by hand i planted every tree by hand all of this we did i didn't hire anyone it's just me my dad my wife my mom we had some family help out um so you literally have blood sweat and tears into the project and then to see it all washed down the hill so we're just going to fix this and you know we're going to keep uh moving on to some other stuff so let's uh i gotta go get some water i gotta figure out a game plan here <laughs>
Okay, so, so far, um, so far we've taken the rest of this dirt, and as you can see, I mean, without even packing it down here, starting to pack it down a little bit over there where uh, that weak spot was, we're higher here now. So here's our drain. This was our low spot, which this will continue to be low. Again, you know, these are problems that uh, only money can solve. I could have an uh, experienced guy come in here and regrade all this at the tune of probably 1200 a day. Probably need some better soil. There's low spots here. There's low spots over there. I mean, you could just throw money and dirt at it. Um, and I will over time, but not right now. Right now, we're just trying to fix this issue. So this will stay low. That drain will stay functional. And we're going to try to just... I'm going to try to do my best to just kind of grade this in a little bit. Um, give it a little bit of a slope and just kind of push this out this way. And then I'm going to start bringing some dirt back this way, filling up some spots. And, um, you know, I'm just, I'm doing, I'm doing what I can do uh, with my resources and my capabilities, which isn't much since uh, this is the first time operating this stuff. So, um, or doing this kind of work. Um, I think it's going pretty well, actually. So, the learning experience. I think it's going okay. So this is what the front seat of a bulldozer looks like. It's your brake, your clutch. I'm gonna push that all the way in. It's like some sort of safety locking mechanism. We're gonna push that all the way forward. That uh, allows us access. See that? To our lever, this is neutral, reverse, drive. This is our uh, throttle. So let's put our safety down. Give it a little throttle here. We're gonna move this into reverse. Over on this side, this right here raises and lowers the ripper, which we are not using today. And this right here controls the blade. Forward, down, backwards is up. If you take the, this lever, and you push it to the right, it tilts, left, tilts, and if you turn it, you can oscillate the blade a little bit. Now we're in reverse. get a little 
little dirt in here and kind of even this out a little bit. We'll go with drive. Looking better. We're a lot higher over here now. Um, it's still pretty low here by the edge, though. I think that uh, another truckload, I think another truckload uh, will do us some good. Get this a little higher in here, and uh, I think we'll be set. So this is how this shaped up. I found a uh, bigger, you know, junk pipe over here, and just extended my run out a little bit further. Um, honestly, I think that this will, this will hold. Not forever, but hopefully it'll settle. I'm gonna put some seed down in here and see if we can start getting some stuff to grow on the edge and then uh I was all wet all right to so change of plans um i don't know when the next time i'm going to be getting dirt in here so i figured i'm going to rake all this in in a minute um just threw a bunch of seed um where you know there needs to be more traction on the soil all down through here some of this will bite some of it will get washed away inevitably um but if i get more dirt in here to raise this end up a little bit if i have to bury some existing grass i think that can only help and then I'll just plant more seed on top of that. But, I mean, you can see how this edge over here is really growing in. And on there, I mean, this was just the problem area. So, there's going to be a lot of time uh, between now when this video ends and probably the next update. So, we'll see. We'll see, uh, see what happens. Try to get some seed down in here. Just wherever. It'll help. So, cool. We'll see. We'll rake this in. Be done for the day. One last update. This is actually how we're gonna end the day here. This is a nice big tarp. I had uh, 
just planted the seed, rigged it out, uh, wet it a little bit, look at the forecast, we're under flash flood warnings, of course. Um, so we're supposed to be getting like an inch of rain over the night and some pretty good rain into tomorrow. So my theory here is, as I discussed before the video cut out last time, is it's nice and high here and then it kind of drops down to the trees. Same thing here. We got it a lot higher here, which is good because that's going to keep the water that pools here and sheds this way away. I'll go over there and show you the elevation there in a minute. But I still think we need some more dirt to fill in this kind of low spot here. Um, right now, just in case, I don't think any of this, this water that usually floods here is going to get high enough to make it this way. If it does, it's going to be way less water than normal. The drain is still over there. It should pool, run that way, and stay away from this area. What I didn't want, since all this dirt that was filling this in was brand new, was only uh, compacted by my boots and my body weight a little bit at a time. Um, I didn't want a uh, hour on hour, hours on hours of uh, rain to just be hitting it. So this should protect anything, any rainfall, heavy, light hitting here. It's just going to go down the tarp, run down into this area here that I'm not too concerned about. And there should be no erosion here or, you know, hopefully a little bit less on this, uh, this new soil. Cut a hole for the tree here. This all went in pretty good. So these cones are not quite the edge. The edge is a little further back this way. I don't know how long this is gonna stay like this, but the edge is pretty compacted. And again, there's gonna be a tree here and this is the property line. So there's no reason for anyone to really be out here. I'm starting to wonder if this becomes something permanent. And when my next load of dirt comes in, if I just uh, go right over this with dirt, fill it in, plant seed here, and uh let that grass grow in and then when you get rain the rain will just fall you know come to the edge hit the tarp and run down and leave everything under here intact so that's the idea for now we will we'll see how this all transpires until until next time so uh you know just learning as we go and just trying to do as much around the property ourselves and uh you know i guess this is kind of part of it so so we uh, brought in that second truck of, of dirt and filled it in, kind of leveled it off a little bit. It still slopes down here, but we're so high. Um, we're so high here uh, in the center, and that grade's a lot higher. The water doesn't run here anymore. We just wanted to meet the elevation kind of neatly where the, uh, the tree line is. And threw some seed. We got some more seeding to do before the year is over. And this is... Uh, this is what's left of this area over here. So we still let the tarp in, got grass growing in. I don't want to climb on this hill right now because I just had my leg operated on, but believe it or not, there's actually grass growing on the dirt uh, behind this tarp. So, I mean, as you can tell, this has obviously been here for a while uh, since that uh, first video was really uh, recorded. You can see there's still a little bit of runoff here, but that I believe is from the sprinkler. You can see that the sprinkler really kind of beats it in. I gets a lot of sun here. There's uh, not a whole lot of shade, um, except here in the afternoon. So I, I've been running the sprinklers and you can see where it kind of washes out. But my, uh, my method of planting grass, which I mean, I've done a pretty good job this year and in the front yard um, is, uh, this is just seed, let it do its thing. Some will catch and then uh, some won't. And then you reseed again. Seed's not cheap, but it's, uh, you just gotta be patient. It grows in, so I'll seed this probably, probably at least one more time before winter. And next year we'll focus on there. We didn't put any water out there this year except for just rain um we'll get some more sprinklers set up over there and try to try to really get the yard looking looking nice so i'm pretty happy with i'm pretty happy with uh how this has been turning out considering uh all the trials and errors we've uh we've gone through here with the with the water um and this was all dirt at one point this summer just four or five months ago and now it's nice and green so we're happy about that um really happy about that